action practice. Homework. Getting back in the groove. As they say on Instagram and YouTube, say it with me, <laughs> just messing around. As they say on YouTube, what's up guys? What's up guys? John Bear here. A lot of you guys have been asking me, John, when are you going to play guitar more in your kitchen on a Saturday night? It didn't, but it's a nice setup. Hey, everybody. Um, I figured I would uh, go to stage two of practicing, which is play in front of some other people. Uh, which helps me get out of my head as I play, which is good. But yeah. It's hard to stand away from the thing and read comments. This is my favorite part of playing guitar when the tone's right and it feels good and you can just play a little bit. you want my face while I'm playing the guitar. If I can just keep my face right around here while I play, that, I feel like that would make everybody happy. Myself included. Please play a little way. Well, you know, should have known me in my 20s. Mm. What's up, Live for Live Music? Gonna be at the bowl. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't, obviously, I can't wait. Can't wait. Every tour presents a new little chapter in the workbook. And uh, it's hard to articulate now, here and now, about what that chapter is, but I'm looking very forward to working it out. I'm gonna be pausing and playing. Oh, cool, well, you know, someone asked me on Andy Cohen's show about what I teach, and I thought about it a lot since I answered, which was, the answer was, I feel like I wouldn't do anybody any favors trying to codify how I work into a way that other people would understand. And I stand by it. The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm right. I'd be like, okay, hold on. The thing is, the thing is, because this is all abstract to me, you know. Uh, if anybody wants to be a guinea pig and get completely confused, anybody wants to learn guitar the wrong way for, for the benefit of other people who will eventually maybe learn the right way, come at it. Anyway. You know, you just play. And anyway, now I'm not really thinking about what I'm playing. I'm thinking about how I'm, how I'm doing that. How I'm doing that. You know? You know what I mean? Oh, I feel like now is the time I have to tell people I'm not on, I'm not high or on anything. I promise you. I promise. I'm packing road cases and playing guitar. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, only if I play the lick. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't 
Imagining like the black shirt looks like my hands just kind of appearing there. You know what I realized I do do on the guitar though? Is I don't do that. It's a very three dimensional. It's not this. It's very 3D. It's all. It's working in all. Microtones. solo interview. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, Sweet Home Chicago. I used to watch TV as a kid with a guitar on, and uh, I'd watch a show, and when the, sh when the show went to commercials, I would mute and just go, you know. <laughs> and then the show would come back on, I'd go, Rip, and just watch. And just feel the fact that I could play at any given moment, but I'm not. Like the power of like, could play but not, could play but not, and it's right here. Merp, merp. I was also thinking about this too. If you want to be a soloist, I would sit in front of someone and I'd be like, all right, here's a backing track, right? Whistle, hum, what would you play? What would you play? So you can actually practice being an instrumentalist or a guitar player by just whistling what it is that you would have in your head. You have to have something in your head you want to sing. Just whistle. So like, 
For me, I'm just gonna pick a new key, right? We pick C. And if you can't say this down alone. If you, I, if, I couldn't do it if I hadn't whistled it, at least in my head, right before I played it. Ba ba da 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 da. I'll do it again on the four chord. Again. That's it. No, I don't remember what the one chord was, but, you know. So, you got to know what it is you're going to play in the first place. And you, and you can bring it into a split second between what you want to do and what you're doing. You, it comes in a flash now. Ah. You can go to a major. Da ba da bum da ba 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 ba. Da do da do da da ba ba da ba ba da ba. Da ba da do da bum da ba da ba ba ba. Da do da do da 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 da. Da ba da bum da 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 da. Da 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 da. That's kind of a cool melody line. And if you fuck up, you go, do what you wanted to do in the first place and keep going until you get it. Or something like it. All right, okay. You don't have to have a band. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some... Ready? You can feel it, right?
signing off to. Anyway. And also, you go until it breaks down. You go until you start messing up too many times to be like, yeah, I'm done. But that was really fun. Greatest story ever told. That is the right key. That is the same key. Where do you balance playing too much or too little? Well, from the time you were 13 until you're 38, you play too much. And then you experiment how you get to play the right amount. I still play too much. So I play perfectly, I play pretty perfectly the way I want to when I'm at home. But something happens, musicians can tell you that something happens between the intent you have for yourself at home and when you get on the stage and the crowd is there and everybody's going there and your friends are there and you're playing and it's loud. And, and remember, I don't know if you were watching from the beginning because it was three days ago that I started this live. Uh, I was saying that there was a new chapter of the workbook and the chapter of the workbook is... address this because I knew people would ask me. No, I'm not. Place my filter before or after overdrive. I don't have a filter. Oh, you mean the, the envelope filter. Well, you have to put it before because you'd give it too much signal if you overdrove the signal into the Qtron and then you wouldn't get any wow. How long does it take to produce a song once it's been written? It takes me a long time because I need to... Uh, I'm one guy, you see, and I need to simulate five guys. And the way I simulate five guys is taking five times as long to make a record. Because you come in, one day is person number one, you go home and listen. Person number two comes in and goes, here's what I think it should be. And all five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve versions fight it out until you get the best one. But there is one dude in the middle of me which goes, nope, yes, you're right, you're wrong, you're right. But it takes a day to hear from another person, because you have to go home and go to sleep, have a whole different set of dreams and wake up, listen to the music. Yeah, I did say five guys. Sorry, I was very distracting. I was thinking about five guys. Where's the headband? Oh, I don't know. Stimulate me. Did you say stimulate me? No. All right, all right, all right, all right. I should go. I should go. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't tell on me. I don't know for what, but just don't tell on me. And uh, I'll see you later. And yeah, you're, this was uh, this was great. Thank you. See you on the road.